Ladies and gentlemen, the Crew 2 is finally over. And I don't really know how I feel about it. I'm kind of sad, but at the same time, I know it means positive things for Motorfest. Anyways, let's get into it. Let's go! Real quick before we get into the video, if you're looking for any of my Motorfest tunes, you can go to MilitiaGamingCo.com, click on the Motorfest Pro Settings link at the top, and that'll take you to our tunes app with a bunch of tunes from me and other members of the community. All right, let's get into this, man, because this is big news. This is actually probably the biggest news we've ever had regarding the Crew franchise. It is the very last update for the Crew 2. They are not adding any more new content after this update. This is the Crew 2 year six update and it's an article that is i don't know man it, it was written you can kind of tell it was written with a little bit of like sadness like they don't want this game to end and for good reason they've been updating it for six years like look at how much content these are actual title updates to the game these are big quarterly updates for this game it's pretty insane the number of free updates let's count them one two three four five six seven times three 21 updates for this game like completely free updates you don't have to purchase anything they supported this game for six years it is absolutely incredible and now they're going to share with us a little bit of the details for this last update but also this article details that this will be the very last update for the crew too and it's just i don't know I, i'm so my emotions are so mixed right now because i'm so i'm sad for the crew too but i don't really play the crew too that often and i'm really playing motorfest and I want them to focus on Motorfest. And now the team can sort of move over from the Crew 2 to Motorfest. And maybe we can get some really cool new stuff in Motorfest. Anyways, let's go through this article because there are a couple of new things here. This update will introduce exciting new content and improvements like the Race Creator for boats and planes. So they've added Race Creator before. Now you have the ability to create your own races with boats and planes. There's going to be new challenges and numerous experiences that... They hope we will enjoy the intention is to give us the tools to continue unleashing creativity they're basically hoping that the game survives on what is called ugc or user generated content this is something that a lot of games actually try to do towards the end of the life cycle of the game now this game obviously lasted a lot longer than most and i think it will continue to last because of those race creator features and the fact that they're going to be bringing back all of those timed exclusive summits maybe some that you might have missed out on anyways during year six selected content began to reappear in the game such as previous live summits themed weeks or rewards and this system was the first step in automating the content deployed in the game aiming to ensure a continuous and renewed weekly experience so they plan to have renewed weekly experiences just like they did over the last six years but it's going to be content that has already been in the game that's going to be returning so you're going to have the opportunity to earn those things so with all this content coming back and one of the most powerful tools that they've ever deployed in the game the race creator they're hoping that every time you go into the crew 2 you're going to have a different experience every week a different live summit is going to return selected from hundreds of previous updates with its associated rewards and thanks to a new calendar integrated into the game you will get the chance to enjoy seasonal activities that you might have missed so that is huge there is a calendar that you're going to be able to go to and i don't know what this looks like yet because i'm filming this before this update comes out but i hope they give you a pretty good idea maybe of the entire month or maybe like three months worth of events that you can pick out and see what the rewards are and see which summits you want to go after and which cars you missed maybe this actually is really big news because this gives everyone the ability to sort of plan out when they're going to go into the crew too maybe there's a summit that is two weeks from now that you actually need a car for because you're missing that in your motorfest collection and you don't really have the money in the crew too to actually participate in that you can go into the crew too early grind the money make sure you have it make sure you're ready for that summit coming in two weeks so i hope this calendar goes out quite a ways but i would be happy if it was just a month's worth of events all the ecosystems of the game including its hub menu will be regularly and automatically updated with weekly recommendations of single player and multiplayer activities for you to play and enjoy this is the key word right here automatically this means they're trying to move all the team that's working on the crew to and put them on motorfest that's what's happening right there or potentially you know some new experience i don't really know this is very very good news the evolution of this system is a way for us to let players enjoy a different experience every single week considering this it's important to clarify that going forward no new content will be added to the crew 2 after march's update mad volume 2. this is the end 
of the crew 2 new content and i've been waiting for it dude i'm so excited <laughs> i don't know why i'm so excited i'm so excited because i feel like now motorfest can finally get the attention that it so greatly deserves it's just a game that i feel like there's been such bad rewards in the summits and everything has been just so bland and like sort of hand me down from the crew too it just felt like they weren't able to put together really fresh experiences for us and this is just so exciting so finally we might get some cool stuff after this march update i'm just i'm blown away i'm super excited and uh, i'm also really sad for all the players that maybe really enjoyed the crew too maybe played it for these six years and uh it's finally over man if you don't have all the cars though it's kind of not over right you can just go back and play this game and get the cars that you don't have and from what it sounds like basically everything is going to come back and everything is going to be available like literally all the summit cars all of the motor pass cars everything that you might have missed out on over the last six years you're gonna have the chance to get that and add it to your motorfest collection so all in all extremely extremely good news so shout out to ubisoft ivory tower team i love the direction this is going and i assume that motorfest is going to get some love and finally we're going to be able to see some big big changes in motorfest and motorfest has an update coming in about a week and so this timing couldn't be better i'm super excited to just see what they have in store for us it's just uh, it's gonna be great it's gonna be really good i appreciate you guys watching thank you so much i'll catch you on the next one trigger out